Hey, thanks for having me back. I think your comment about the market being relentless is a really uh, apt one today. It, it's amazing, isn't it, Dave? I mean, you know, we've all been doing this long enough that say, okay, you know, it would make sense that you have a correction, but guess what? Even when the NASDAQ came down that hard, the bottom line is that it just seems that there's still not enough sellers, uh, you know, and that's good news. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of a head, of head of shoulders there on the NASDAQ. I think it was uh, looking potentially bleaker last week for it to, uh, to, to kind of head south, but that's certainly we've seen the support. So you're right. For the time being, I think the message is that we are seeing a broadening out of the market, right, where both tech and other sectors that are more cyclical in nature can do well, while the more defensive sectors that are very interest rate sensitive, utilities and staples, uh, are going to struggle. Um, so uh, I actually think it's healthy that we're, we're seeing the NASDAQ bounce back alongside um, the broader market. Um, and we're certainly seeing it with activity uh, in our leverage funds, uh, especially I was expecting to see a lot of sellers and things like SoxL, uh, money moving into Sox S. So that's you know money moving yes. from the bull to the bear. But for the last couple of weeks, we continue to see people playing the long side of the trade. So when the trade was working, um, they did well. Uh, they actually stuck with it, doubled down on some of the bets. Uh, now those are paying off. And, you know, the, the, the thing that's amazing, folks, and, and depending, you know, how much you're in the market, um, you know, there's a, a woman, Kathy Wood, that's getting a huge amount of publicity, particularly if you're listening to um, Bloomberg. Um, and, you know, We've gone from a, uh, an index market to a stock pickets market. Now, what's so cool about Direction, Dave, that you've been doing this for a long time, man. I mean, the, the way that you have these different sectors set up, you have a stock pickers market. So it was so intriguing. I'm, I'm reading the column you know, over the weekend. Uh, it, it blows my mind, actually, she's getting so much publicity. We know that hey, she's done great. There's no doubt about yeah, that. Correct. But, but there's a lot of different ways that we've all done great you know, if in fact you, you pick those, you know, those high flyers. Um, now, inside of the Direction family, you have the exact same, not the exact same indices, but the bottom line is that you've been a stock picker's market for a long period of time, with, that you could actually make a portfolio even on a one-to-one -one basis with the amount of ETFs that you have. No, that's completely right. So I think a few years ago, really, you were better off probably just being in the S&P 500 and not trying to even trade um, and just kind of let, let the gains ride. But what we've seen essentially since the COVID crash last year, you know, we're, we're right around a, a year from there, stock picking or sector industry selection has really been able to pay off uh, as we've seen greater differentiation across industries in the market. Now, going forward to your point, whether you're you know, noting the new star manager or what people can do on their own, there's a lot of opportunity. So for traders, you know, we really advocate investors to or, or traders, excuse me, you know, not just to look at Tech L and Tech S, but if, if you want the kind of tip of the spear, look at the Sox L and Sox S that I mentioned, focusing just on the semis or in the bio, you know, instead of healthcare, look at the biotech space with Lab U and Lab D to take advantage of the trades that we're seeing in biotech. And then, yeah, on our one beta side, and we've talked about this before, but Direction Moonshot Innovators ETF, ticker Moon, this isn't a leveraged ETF, but it's up 39% here to date. It's 50 small cap companies that are purely focused on early stage innovation um, that's just done exceptionally well. Uh, you know, outperforming, uh, you know, many of many uh, outperforming the ARC funds, outperforming the indices significantly.